Hi everyone, this week's Monday Vibes theme is all around faith and I wrote it because I personally have not always had faith in things. It's been something that I've had to actively work to cultivate because I really don't do well with uncertainty. I much prefer things to be in my control. I love to plan, I love to over plan, I love to rehearse things in my head, back and forth and back and forth and analyze and research and think and solve and fix and plan some more. That is by far my natural state of being. But there came a point when my struggles with uncertainty were literally killing me. I struggled with anorexia. I was overworking. Um, I was overachieving. I was people pleasing. I was. I had an anxiety and insomnia and burnout, and the list goes on. And the picture was not pretty for me. So I had to figure out a way to heal my fear of uncertainty, which is really just a byproduct of perfectionism, really wanting things to be in your control and literally not being able to handle inside your body when they're not. Um, and so as I began to heal this within myself, I realized that, or I, I found that uh, a strange and foreign thing was starting to take its place. And that was faith, faith that things would work out, faith that I would make the right decisions, faith that I could course correct those decisions if I didn't like them, faith that there were no right or wrong answers, faith in the people around me, faith in my own intuition, faith that there was a greater plan for me, and faith that there was only so much I could do, control, plan, fix, solve all on my own. And as my faith started to grow, my fear of uncertainty started to dissipate. It was amazing and don't get me wrong i still hate uncertainty but it i've noticed especially right now that it doesn't take it doesn't rule my life in the same ways that it used to now i studied perfectionism uh, in graduate school and i learned from the perfectionism literature that there are three ways that perfectionism shows up in our life one self-oriented so we're really hard on ourselves two, other-oriented, so we're really hard on other people, and three, socially prescribed, which means society is hard on us. Society has imposed high expectations on us. And this is particularly true of marginalized groups. And if you take one look around us right now, you can see that we're not only dealing with a physical health crisis, but also a mental health crisis. We are a society that is sick with perfectionism, sick with the desire to control everything, ourselves, people around us, things that are outside of our control, things that are completely unknown. We don't know how to surrender and how to have faith. Now, faith does not mean absolving personal responsibility. Faith does not mean sitting back and hoping that everything, just hoping for the best. And faith doesn't mean apathy. Faith means knowing that you can do all the right things and things still may not go the way that you want them to. Faith means accepting that there is only so much that you can do, accepting that you cannot possibly know all of the answers and steps to take no matter how much research, planning, analyzing you do. It's accepting that control is an illusion. So if you're interested in diving more into this topic with me, it's something that's very near and dear to my heart and would love some evidence-based ways to deal with uncertainty, come join me in my upcoming online workshop, Self Love in Uncertain Times. We'll be talking about the science of self-love and self-acceptance. I'll pepper in some research on perfectionism, probably it always comes out. Um, we'll be getting clear on your needs, how to set healthy boundaries, how to have difficult conversations, separating your emotions from other people's emotions. It's really important to take stock in your own energetic boundaries right now. Shadow work, unpacking your triggers, grief rituals, 
meditation and somatic exercises and of course dancing so that we can move some of this energy some of this stuck energy that's getting clogged in our systems and keeping us into feelings of overwhelm or freeze or anxiety or whatever it is that is causing you discomfort or suffering right now so i would love to be your guide in that help help teach you some new concepts and um create a space for you to practice with a really amazing intimate group of other women um, if you have any questions let me know and for now i want you to ask yourself how comfortable am i with uncertainty what do i need to feel safe and supported right now and your weekly mantra is i can only control so much so I hope that's helpful. And if you would love the full subscriber only digital self package, you can sign up for Monday Vibes, my weekly new, um, inspirational newsletter on my website, www.elizabeth-sue.com slash Monday Vibes. Take care, everyone.